Great. Jerry, thanks very much. Um, first, it's great to be back uh, in Christchurch. I've got to say, I haven't been down in the red zone for probably a couple of months, uh, is my guess. I've been in Christchurch, obviously, on numerous occasions, but not actually back into the red zone. And it's a combination of emotions, actually. I think, uh, firstly, uh, quite sobering, just the extent of the damage. You know, you when you leave the city and you're not intimately involved in it, you forget just how significant uh, the damage has been and the destruction to the people of Christchurch. So uh, reacquainting myself with that is uh, quite an emotional uh, point, actually. I'm, uh, spent so much time here when the earthquakes first took place. I think secondly, it's uh, you know, I can see the progress that's been made. The team's doing a fantastic job. Obviously, a lot of buildings have come down and uh, I managed to get an indication of the number of buildings that will follow from here. So a lot of progress happening. Um, we are here really today to, to launch a project, Restart the Heart, which is really all about saying uh, we want to get some retail activity happening here back in Cashel Street, back for show week, uh, first week of November. And really it's a display of uh, yet another step forward in progress and restoring the vitality, uh, the heart of Christchurch and the belief that this city will be rebuilt uh, and come out of uh, the ashes of destruction to be an even finer city. And yesterday we saw the, the plan unveiled for the CBD and, and again that's a very exciting I think, step forward to give people real encouragement that we're all committed to the rebuild of Christchurch. My understanding is there'll be about 64 or 65 of these uh, containers uh, that will be forming a shopping precinct and uh, again be a great opportunity for some retailers to come back uh, and engage with their customers and, and get re-established. The funding for the project, which is uh, just under $3.4 million, is coming from uh, the fund that I established and that Mark Weldon uh, raised the money for. It's a loan of, in effect for three years at 0% interest, but with the full acknowledgement that uh, probably not all the funds will be returned in due course. Uh, we're happy to, uh, to take that, uh, that risk, if you like. In the end, this is about putting some of that money uh, to make sure uh, that we can get this project off the ground. So um, we've raised um, really the better part of $100 million now. Uh, last night I was at a, a fundraising function in Auckland for the New Zealand Olympic Committee raising funds for the New Zealand Olympic team but as the last part of that auction uh, they raised again just under I think $40,000 for Christchurch. And I think if you look at the entire amount of funds that have been raised between the Salvation Army, the Red Cross, uh, the Prime Minister's Fund and various others, it'll be well and truly in the order of about a quarter of a billion dollars. And I think uh, in comparison to all of the funding required to get Christchurch back on its feet from the insurers, reinsurers, EQC and the government, obviously that's a small amount of money, but it's an extraordinarily large amount of money for a small country to raise for the things that just make a community uh, work and hold a community together. And the, the sign, I think, of the international and uh, nationwide support for Christchurch. Uh, there wouldn't be a day goes by where I don't get people continue to ask me about how the progress of Christchurch is going. Uh, you're still very much in the thoughts and the hearts of uh, New Zealanders and from people around the world, whether it's from uh, the Oval Office and the White House uh, through to uh, you know, our most recent trip to India. Uh, this is something that's caught the attention of people from right around the world. I do want to thank uh, Roger Sutton and the team at CERA and Jerry for all of his work. Uh, and all of the um, ministers and MPs that have been involved. It's a huge, huge project. Uh, we were talking to Warwick before about you know, whether this was a sort of a world record, if you like, of the number of buildings that have actually been demolished in any urban environment. We think that's the case. Uh, but when it comes to Christchurch, you've set so many records. And I know they're not records that Christchurch would have wanted to set, uh, but they are an example of just how significant these earthquakes have been. And um, it's a testimony to the uh, people of Christchurch uh, that they are so committed to the rebuild so um, we continue to be here to support them in everything they do. Um, so Jane if I could pass over to you and to make a few more comments and um, thank you for the opportunity to just make a few remarks this morning. Oh, kia ora koutou, my name's Jane Hudia and I'm representing the Christchurch Earthquake Appeal Trust today. I'm the chair of the advisory board uh, to the trust. The role of the advisory board is to provide advice on proposals to the trustees based on our understanding of local community needs. There are six of us um, and I know that uh, speaking for myself and for them we would feel deeply privileged to, uh, to have this role and this involvement in the rebuilding of our community. 
Uh, the Trust identified very early on seven categories of need to which funding would be applied from the Trust. These are education, sport and recreation, heritage and culture, natural environment, spiritual and faith, economic revitalisation and hardship and relief. So to support the overall recovery, the trustees are most interested in funding projects that provide a bridge to the future, projects which help our community move forward. The Restart the Heart program is an initiative to kickstart retail right here in Cashel Moor. It will allow displaced business owners to come back to our city and it will help the centre city to become the vibrant retail hub that it was before. Restart will contribute to the economic revitalisation and in turn the communities that live here and the atmosphere of our city centre. The City of Christchurch does have an exciting and a positive future and this project will contribute to this. So I'm very pleased to be here today on behalf of the Trust to announce a loan of 3.36 million to the Restart the Heart Trust initiative and um, as the Prime Minister has said this is an interest free loan. The money will be repaid from profits where possible over time back to the Trust so it can be reinvested back in the community. Thank you. Congratulations. John, are you going to introduce yourself or should I make a comment about who you are? <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, 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 John Suckling. Um, many of you from Christchurch will know of uh, Suckling, Suckling Shoe Stores, but John has got uh, a number of property interests in the area and he's been the uh, one of the driving forces towards getting this going and it's nice to see such a, an old established business. I'm sure older than you, John. Um, uh, making such a commitment to the future of Canterbury and being excited about what uh, Christchurch and being excited about what might happen. So, John, please. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just to clarif clarify, I don't actually have any property in this area. Oh. Uh, um, <laughs> my, unfortunately, it's I wish I had. Quite a bit, quite wish a bit I of had. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but my building got knocked down about a couple of weeks ago down Colombo Street, a little bit further. Um, but I'm, I'm involved in this and, and been happy to chair this group um, because I uh, care passionately about the Centre of Christchurch and have been involved for a long time. Whenever the council has been looking at issues relating to the central city, I've always made sure I'd made submissions and, and was briefed on what was going on. So when the earthquake came along, there was a group of us who had, had already had a concern about what was happening in the centre of the city and was working with the council to put our point of view. Um, so when this came along we um, decided that we needed to be proactive and, and try and find a way of bringing some economic activity back into the centre of the city sooner rather than later. You've already seen as you've gone around in the bus today that there's huge parts of the city that are just not going to be ready for economic activity for a long time, especially because of the high-rise buildings. And we realised that this area here was not in the splash zone of any high-rise building and although a lot of buildings would be flattened that there would be an opportunity to start something um, late this year in this area rather than waiting until several months into next year. And so our, our group came up with the concept of restart and we approached um, the Minister uh, Brownlee about the idea and he was very enthusiastic and very supportive of us as was Sarah. And we also then took that um, to the Mayor, Bob Parker, and again, we were delighted that he was very positive about the concept and saw it as an opportunity to get economic activity in the centre of the city before Christmas this year. And the council staff also saw the merit of it. And we were delighted to see that, in fact, it's actually referred to in the city plan that you saw yesterday. So restart, as we've presented it, is um, the first step, we believe, in getting some activity back into the centre of, uh, of Christchurch. But it's, um, and, and as you know, it is actually a combination of taking existing buildings, which as you see when you look around are, are minimal, there's only a few, um, and then using the, the uh, demolition areas to put in relocatable uh, structures, which are these containers which we are bringing in 
and then um, modifying to put windows and doors and so on on the front of it and to make the area attractive. You can see from behind here, this is just a stylized version of what we're doing because we didn't know when we did this exactly which parts were being available. But we want to make it interesting and funky so that people will, when they come into the city, will enjoy the experience. The strength of, of, of the project, we believe, is that it's flexible. We uh, will have the containers in this area here initially but when landowners are ready to rebuild, we won't be holding those up because we can shift them. So there's the advantage that development, uh, permanent buildings can be established quickly in this area once um, they know what they should be doing in relation to the, the vision for the city. But we would hope at that point that other areas in the city, as some of the high rise buildings that need to come down, come down and other areas become safe for the public that we could relocate some of these buildings in those areas. The, there's a huge amount of work, as you'd appreciate, for that, uh, that our trust will be involved in getting this project off the ground. But what really drives us is that we believe we can give a great experience to uh, the public of Christchurch sooner than would otherwise happen. So on Saturday the 29th of October, Christchurch will get a bit more of their city back. We will do our best, our trust will do the best to uh, make it a great start to a new and better city. Thank you.